Hey, I'm Leah. And I'm Sophia. And welcome to TLTV. Homecoming week is always one of the most exciting weeks for Holt each year. With the Spirit Days, the Powder Puff Game, Pep Assembly, Friday Night Lights, and finally the dance, it's hard to catch a break. Dressing up for each of the Spirit Days is something the entire student body can participate in, and they definitely didn't disappoint. Monday was PJ Day, Tuesday was Adam Sandler Day, Wednesday was Powder Puff Day where each class wore a different color, Thursday was Free the Dogs Day, and Friday was Blue and Gold Day. With Powder Puff Day on Wednesday, the senior class was decked out in all black. The juniors were all white, sophomores dressed in red, and freshmen represented in yellow. For the underclassmen game, the sophomores won 30-6, and the upperclassmen game, the senior class won 28-21. Great job, ladies. On Thursday, students showed their school pride during the annual homecoming pep assembly out on Sobe Field. Stuka led the assembly to hype up the school for the homecoming football game against the Zumo East Lions. In honor of Holt alumni, Zach Meyer, who was in a tragic accident that left him paralyzed on July 3rd, a Miracle Minute was held to show our support. Donations for his cause are accepted through a Venmo code. Holt concluded the game with another victory, keeping up our streak for this eventful week. Tomorrow is senior night, so be sure to show up and show your support. To continue the weekend, Saturday morning held the Winsville Homecoming Parade. With over 90 groups participating, the first homecoming parade in two years was a great success, and everyone's hard work and spirit was awesome. To continue the first full homecoming week since 2022, an indoor homecoming dance has returned as well. Did you go, Leah? I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Lights, Camera, Hoko was a big hit and everyone seemed to love the theme this year. I thought it was great. The dance has been going on for so many years and there's so much history behind it. And a lot of history around the school as well. Samantha Quiz holds students on their knowledge of this topic. Let's see how they did. Thanks, guys. Homecoming has been a long-lasting tradition for Holt and different high schools across the nation, with the very first homecoming dating back to 1914 in Wisconsin. But do these students really know their history? I went around school this week to figure that out. Hi, I'm here with... Uh, Allison Mills. Rye. Tony Campanella. Peyton. And we're going to answer some questions. And if you get any of them right, I will give you a dollar. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Question one. When was this building first opened as a high school? 19, no, 18, 82. 1903. Um, sometime in 1987. This was made, this school was made in like 1900, 1983. Not even. The building or a high school? Opened as a high school. Yeah, I don't know. It was, um, I'm trying to think. It was 1896. I was close. God dang it, I still know. I'm sorry. All right, well, when was the first graduating class? I don't know. That year? 1879. What the heck? See, by that year, it would have been a two-year high school, so the answer would have been 1898. So. For the third and final question, which is probably going to be the easiest one. What is the original name of this high school? I don't know. Uh, can I phone a friend? Do you want to phone a friend? Yeah. Halt. Um. Uh, pop up, I don't know. Can you tell me what the original name is for Holt High School? Oh. What's the high school? No. Oh, no. Winsville High School. Oh, well, that is incorrect. The <laughs> original Winsville High School. So in the 70s, it changed to Emil E. Holt High School. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That is the correct answer. Emil E. Senior, Winsville Holt High School. Awesome. All right, well, thanks for playing with me. <laughs> so, do these students know their history of our school? It sure doesn't look like it, but our teacher sure does. And just so you guys know, I didn't actually have a dollar on me. It was just for bribery. Okay, back to you guys. Homecoming week has so far been the busiest but one of the best weeks so far this year. With that, many more great weeks come to follow. That about sums up this episode. We'll see you next time on TLTV.